Hello, it's Mike Levin from MikeLevinSEO.com, and I'm trying to wrap up my work quickly today. And this is the output from the last time I ran Gropy, and I am intent on doing a little bit of cleanup and making it look a little more elegant and the right nomenclature. The decisions that you make now early in a project are going to stick with you forever. So the first thing I realized that is in trying to accommodate for index offsets, I outsmarted myself. And if I just delete that plus one, and I delete this row entirely, A, it becomes much more Pythonic. B, it's still correct. And C, it still runs exactly as it did before. So that makes it look a lot nicer. Now another thing I realize is that as I'm uh, stepping through the functions, I use the word rodex here, but I'm stepping through functions in a row. I'm going horizontally. That concept doesn't apply. So I'm going to do shift R for replace and do col. And uh, I'm just going to visually look and make sure I got them. See if that runs. Yep, everything is still good. And that was just a little bit of cleanup. Now I pause while I think through next step. Okay, the next step, when I encounter something that the dictionary of requirements is empty, uh, double curl, curly, well, curly quotes with nothing inside, not curly quotes, curly brackets with nothing inside is an empty dictionary. It will evaluate to empty. I can just eval, eval that function and return its value, and you can start to see something coming back. And then I'll do a uh, cell update so you can see it uh, get plugged into the spreadsheet. But first of all, this is under uh, do row, and if a cell has a question mark in it. We're getting the uh, name of the function here and the name of the arguments here. And I believe it will serve me well to just make this into F name. So uh, change word F name equals get rid of the parentheses and then similarly fargs equal now we have much easier local scope variable names to deal with than we had before it won't print out anything but the idea here is uh, if fargs so there are requirements but that's not what we're interested in right now. Else, that means the fargs or the arguments or parameters for the function evaluated to empty. And in that case, you can simply say uh, print. Now this is a little unsafe. I'll be cleaning this code. All you people who are, you know, nitpicky about root access and the eval statement. This is running on a Raspberry Pi. I'm doing backups to GitHub and I can do backups of the entire system. I am about to create a hacking hole you could drive a Mac truck through but then we'll be tightening it up and securing it and uh, so we are going to print the eval of fname. And what do you think evaling fname is going to produce when fname is function one that returns ni. Uh, yep, you guessed it. If this is working correctly, we should see ni printed a few times. And we're seeing the 
function itself as an object. So let's see. We want to show the output of the object. Pause time. Okay. Whenever you get back the pointy brackets of an object and you're expecting the value that an object is returning, you're leaving out the open close parenthesis to express a method of an object. Uh, just the normal return value is still a method of an object. It's like, so long story short, instead of simply printing eval of the function name, I have to put an open close bracket there. It seems counterintuitive or nonsensical, but that is invoking the function instead of referring to the function. So we should get a few knees. There you have it. Pausing and unpausing because doing the cell update is beyond the uh, scope of this particular video. Um, that actually uh, is enough for now. Uh, we've, we're executing functions that require no parameters and um, We'll execute functions that do require parameters, filling in the correct parameters from values it discovers on the same row. And then finally, we'll do the cell updates as a separate project because it's got to be handled differently for the CSV files and the Google spreadsheets. Thanks for joining me, and I'll talk to you soon. And don't forget to subscribe.